Hello there everybody, it is me again, Embrix, with another LEGO video, and um, we are taking a look back again at the LEGO Spider-Man Far From Home sets, which are set to release on April 1st. Now, um, the first thing I might say is, I've already done something like this, and that is purely because uh, this is like an in-depth thought. So, uh, I've always done quick thoughts for things, like one-minute videos or so, but then if it really interests me, usually Star Wars, Marvel, and Harry Potter, I do in-depth thoughts as well as quick thoughts. So, uh, this is Marvel, obviously, so I'm doing the in-depth thoughts for this one. Let's just say that this shows you how... Uh, popular spider-man is amongst kids like he's getting three sets for his solo movie look back to infinity war he gets half of infinity war even though there are way more characters in infinity war he gets one set less than civil war even though there are way more characters in civil war and then all the other movies like ant-man and the lost got one set captain marvel got one set doctor strange got one set but no spider-man is so popular that he gets three but let's take a look at this uh, the biggest one, this is the Stark Jet and Drone Attack. It has, I think, 501 pieces and will retail for $70 in the U.S. That is a bit overpriced, but I don't know. For what I get, I can actually kind of see this being 70 or maybe 60. 60 would be a good mid-ground, I'd say, but uh, I still don't think I'll get it. It's not terribly over... Yeah, this actually looks like a $50 set, so it is overpriced, but... Even if it was 50 I don't think I'd get it. It's just, you know, even if it was 50 it wouldn't be overpriced, but it would still be expensive. Anyway, you can load in these quote-unquote bombs. I don't know what they're really supposed to be. And then you can drop them out on the bottom later on. So, yeah, the dread actually looks pretty sleek. And then the drone builds actually look nice. I want to see how big they are in person, though. And it seems fun to have, like, some man webbing around the airplane and stuff like that. So, yeah. This thing looks pretty cool, and you can see how the bombs kind of uh, just drop out there. And then you got some stud shooters, and it can hold three figures on the inside. Anyway, four figures. We got Spider Man from the Homecoming sets. That's fine. Uh, it looks like he wears more black, but anyway, you got Happy Hogan, which looks so bad, and then you saw Nick Fury and Mysterio. Anyway, uh, let's uh, move on to Hydro Man Attack. I ran out of time there, but we'll take a look at Mysterio in depthly in this video. But by the way, Nick Fury looked great there. But this set is amazing. It has all the web accessories, so I don't have to get any of those comic based Spider Man uh, sets. And then this is just a nice little Venice with uh, Hydro Man right there. Like Hydro Man in the trailer, if you saw it, uh, he's like. He looks like a human, purely out of water, and huge, so that doesn't capture him that well, but I think for Lego, for what it is, it goes pretty well. And yeah, this thing just looks pretty good. I like, um, it looks like you could do a bunch of stuff, but anyway, you got Peter Parker, we needed him, the face makes him look old, but I love that half-pulled-on mask, MJ, which looks good, and then Mysterio with his fishbowl helmet. Anyway, uh, here's Hydro Man with his kind of tornado, I think it can spin, but anyway, about Mysterio... He comes in all three sets. I think the way to fix that up is he should come in all three sets, but one should have a Jake Gyllenhaal face and not the fishbowl helmet and the hairpiece with the Jake Gyllenhaal face, in my opinion. But anyway, here's the small set, Molten Man Battle. And Molten Man looks amazing. Like, he has a six set shooter claw arm. He has some gold printing all over. And then he has, like, street signs, traffic lights, cars sticking out of him. This guy just looks great. And by the way, uh, I think I'll get the Venice set, Molten Man Attack set. And, uh, sorry, Hydro Man Attack set, Molten Man Attack. But I don't think I'll get the Stark set, even if it goes down to $50 on sale. But, yeah, this I just really like how this looks. like, And the upside down pieces on it just really make it look like he's dripping and drooping. But anyway, why does Mysterio have, like, power bats that, that are blue? He should have green. And I think he should have, like, with Polka Dot Man and Frozone from the Disney minifigure series, too, a stand like that with um, green. But why do we have a firefighter here? Like, stealth suit, Spider Man looks great. But I think we could have had a Ned instead of a firefighter in this set. It's just, what's he gonna do? You got two superheroes and a Molten Man. He's just a waste. We should have had a Ned. This was the perfect opportunity to include him. So, uh, yeah, I think I'll get two of the smaller sets, not the big one. But that's it for this video. I hope you liked it and enjoyed this in-depth look. And if you did, please subscribe for more videos like this. Leave a comment down below so we can all discuss them in the comments and i will talk to you again soon probably with another lego video so yeah i hope you enjoyed this bye